Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In the previous video, we have created uh, action groups. So this is the action group that we have created. And we have also talked about various uh, options that are present inside uh, action groups. So in this video, we'll try to create uh, alert rules. So let's go ahead and uh, create one. So initially you have to select the scope. So it can be in your subscription level or you can select the resource group or uh, you can select a specific resource that you want. So in this case, I'll just select uh, this one, the resource group, or I can just select the, you know, the resource group. So, but in this case, I just selected the action group. So click apply and let's go to the next one, which is conditions. And here you have to select uh, one of the signal. So you see here, uh, the signal score is administrative. So we have different uh, signals. So you can select one, let's say like all administrative operations and click apply. So you see here the, uh, over uh, six hours uh, it's showing us the graph so for example let's say instead of selecting action group let's say i have selected some uh, other resources maybe let's say a key vault or maybe a virtual machine or so on so based on uh, the you know resource that you select here the options will be very so in this case if you see the signals you have all administrative uh, signal source but based on the resource that you select in the previous section which is scope the resource uh, signal uh, will be changing accordingly so we have selected uh, the signal name and uh, let's back so we have selected this one and uh, coming to event levels we have uh, different uh, sections critical error warning informative and verbose so coming to here we have uh, different status failed started succeeded and uh, here we have uh, all services and users. So let's go to the next one. So we have selected one of the signal name here and uh, coming to the actions, you can create the action group if you want or uh, you can select the one that you have created. So let's select this one and uh, let's go to the next one details and uh, you can create uh, the action rule name and the relevant description that you want. So that's what it is and you can add the tags if you want and we can create it so whenever these uh, signal has been triggered your action group will be uh, triggering as well and uh, the persons that we have mentioned in the previous videos will be getting the notification so that is how it actually works in this case i have not uh, created this action rule but uh, this is how it works so i just wanted to give a glance about uh, the alert rule so i hope you guys have understood the concept of this video so we'll be talking about uh, more options in this uh, alert rules in the coming videos. So coming to this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.